Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Domekeeper. This is my second Domekeeper video today because the first one, the audio, went horribly wrong. It's my first time having a huge audio fail and it was quite heartbreaking. So I started this little run just to check the audio and I'm pretty happy with how everything's sounding. So we're just going to carry on with it because I've got the automated defences going I picked up a couple of upgrades already, so I thought, why the heck not? So we're going to start with our carry strength, and then because uh, I've got a water, let's just go with the automated repair and the inventory manager anyway. I like to have the inventory manager in place because um, I just like looking at how much I've collected and that kind of thing. So the difficulty settings here are normal the easiest difficulty. I've picked the engineer with the little, I don't know what this is, like a viking suit maybe? Um, I've got a kitty cat which is in the dome doing all of the defences. Um, I haven't thought of a name for the cat yet, but as you can see we're in a fight already. Uh, I've already unlocked a gadget here, we're going to bring that up in a second. Actually, not in a second, let's, let's grab it now. I'm confident that we can get up there at a smooth pace. I was looking at the audio settings and changing the music around so the soundtracks will alternate between the assessor and the engineer. And we've got the option for the probe or blast mining. I think I want to go for the probe. That's how I'm feeling right now. So the automated defense is doing pretty well. So I'm going to spend this for, and I'm going to upgrade the keeper speed. Then we're going to whiz down that left side. And pick up the iron that I already drilled out down here. Let's uh, set off the probe. All right, we've got some iron or something directly below us there. There's the cat on the computer, looking after everything. The gadget I've gone with is the shield, and then in order to upgrade these various weapons, etc., I've got to spend some water, which I don't yet have, so we'll have to go find some. So down here, there's the water of which we speak, and here's some iron. Let's grab a bunch of this. That was too much. Alright, and we are away. Let's take the engineer up here. And as you can see, the cat is uh, taking care of the defences. He's on the computer there. Now, I've got some water, so I want to invest in the shield, but first of all, I think I want to actually invest in the stun laser. So I've got three water. I can do a lot with the stun laser with three water. We can get all of these initial upgrades, so let's go firing stamina, area stun, and speed. I think that was quite an efficient use of our time. the soundtrack there. Okay, let's dig a bit deeper and set off the probe about here. Ah, I see something. Little critters there. I wonder if this is a water or a cobalt. Ah, this cobalt's going to take a while to drill through, but Time's on our side here. One, just one little cobalt on its own. Let's get you back. I'm gonna see if I can get away with building up my cobalt so that um, whatever supplement I get, I can upgrade it early. 
And now let's uh, take a look on the right hand side here and see what we can see what we can dig out with our probe. Oh, nothing. Nothing showed up there. Oh, this iron was just out of range. So we're going to dig into this area. Just find out what we may have missed here. Catch that. Catch that. Let's take this this hall back. Oh, look. Quite a lot. And now I can't move because I collected too much. So we're about to have 10 iron, which means I can upgrade my drill. That's what I'm going to do. There it is. And let's get back down, drill out that iron, drag it back, see if there's something in this area here. Nope. And even though we're doing a pretty relaxing run here, we're going to actually go fairly chaotic and just follow the soft spots. Let's see where that leads us. Great to carry strength. Then I'm going to head down, straight down here, keep this double run visible so that I can know where the center line is. And <laughs> I, I saw the iron just before I pressed the probe button. Oh, let's grab you and keep this double run clear. This is my way of knowing that I'm below the center line. Time to hydrate. All right, now I've got some water, so let's take a look at upgrading. We've got the auto cannon, or we've actually got the spire. I can't upgrade the spire, so let's upgrade the auto cannon. I think we will go for the improved auto cannon, and then we're going to look at going for the heavy bullets and the shotgun. Or maybe the machine gun. I haven't decided yet. I'll make up my mind when I have the option. Let's grab the probe and head on down. I think now I'll go the left route. Let's just have a look in this area, see if we missed anything. Nah. Nice. And I think this would be a good place to activate the probe. Well, we know there's nothing in that section, so I'm going to go all the way down here, a bit deeper. Let's just take that to the wall, see where the wall is. Yep, there it is. I know this is clear, but I like to have these runs. Oh, my shield is still up, that's a good sign. I've kind of got hiccups. I had a really nice burrito for my dinner. Aha! I need to put two iron in here. I can't believe I dug that whole run and there was no iron. Here we go. Let's pop a couple of those in there. All right. That's going to be a huge help. Now I can see everything, more or less. So we've gone down a layer here, so it might be good to, might be prudent to get the drill upgrade. What do you think? I think yes. Can I carry this too, or is that being a bit greedy? <laughs> nice. Let's just take this iron. I'll come back for the gadget in a second. Cut through here. Sh 
straight up the middle. Aha, here's some cobalt that I missed. Very cool. Clear that out. Let's go grab that cobalt. Just so we got it in the bank for when the supplement comes online. And I've just seen some water that I missed as well. So we'll go grab that now. There it was. Take this route because it's a little bit easier to access. And we got three. That is absolutely fantastic. So let's drop that into place and let's see what upgrades we can get now. Now I could go for the drill upgrade or I could go something that uses water. Let's have a look at the spire. Well, we can go sustained fire, brings the recharge time down to near zero, enabling a very steady fire pace. Or burst fire, fires in short bursts, dealing well with salvos. I think I want to go for sustained fire. So there we are. And now, because I've got 10, let's use that 10 to increase the keeper's speed. Very cool. Right, I've already got my probe. Let's head on down. Yeah, leave that there actually. Let's grab that one iron that I missed. Gadget. Uh, I hope I get drill, but on my uh, earlier tech issue episode, um, I had drill but going and I had him really upgraded. So if I get the chance to have him again, I'll pull him out again. Ah. Oh. Resource converter or teleporter. I think I did just about beat the final wave last time and I was making use of the teleporter. So let's think about this. I've got the probe and I need to make sure that I use the probe and the teleporter. Those two things work well because it doesn't mean I have to drag anything back down. Whereas the resource converter could give me water. I think we'll go for the teleporter. I had that last time and it was super handy. Alright. We're gonna go down the centre line here. I'm gonna take the take the teleporter with us. And as soon as I can I'm gonna get some upgrades on that teleporter. Because at the moment it's pretty trash to be honest. <laughs> Alright, let's drop a couple of those. Run straight up the middle. Remember to hydrate. One of the things I love about Dome Keeper is just how peaceful it is. So nice to listen to the soundtrack. So I've got 14 iron. I think I'm going to use that to my advantage and upgrade my drill right now. Um, I've still got my probe. Let's teleport back. The teleport is still pretty slow, so the second I get some water, I will be upgrading that. Let's take this with me. Oh, whoopsie, that was a mistake. <laughs> I could have just teleported back, but it's about as quick as traveling, to be honest, right now, so. all this back and let's really focus on finding some water so I can get that teleporter upgraded because right now it's uh, I'm not gonna lie next to useless well the cat is fighting off the hordes in the dome that's pretty handy with the, uh, the seeing through walls upgrade I've kind of I kind of don't need the probe anymore so I might just stop using it altogether uh, let's go for keeper speed. Cool. I suppose there is a limit to the visibility here. Like, I can't see beyond two squares. There we go. It is useful. Bit of cobalt, bit of water. 
Very nice. Let's go grab what was over here. Cool. And we're going to uh, use this iron and this water to get a uh, teleporter upgrade if we can. Very cool. Get down there. There it is, right. So I've got four and two. What can I do? What can I do with four and two? Teleport duration and teleport items. Well, I really want teleport resources, but I don't have access to it right now. So let's do teleport duration, teleport items. The amount of times I've gone through the teleporter without, and then had to leave like some resources behind because I've forgotten that it doesn't work properly. Okay, let's get the probe out. Nice. Cool, here we go, look. Here's the water we need. Aha, what's this? Oh, we've got a switch already. Fantastic. Okay, well, here's the relic. Amazing stuff. Where's that leading? More water here. More cobalt. I don't think I've ever had this much water. And there's the relic opening up. We're going to come back for that later. I want to mine out the resources first and see if I can't uh, beat that final wave. Or, well, see if the cat can't beat the final wave. I've got plenty of water here, but I've got no iron. So we need to go find some of that. Let's go in this direction. There's some. Cool. Now I'm moving pretty slow, so let's drop a couple of those off. Head straight up. Oh, for the first time, my shield has been depleted. But I do have nine cobalt, so I'm not particularly worried about getting hurt. And in fact, because I found the relic already, I think I'm going to put all my money now, all my resources, into a fence. Projectile split. This is improved cooling, that's pretty cool. Um, let's have a look at the main weapon. This is more what I'm talking about. I think we're going to go for machine gun one, machine gun two. And then I think, what have we got here? Speed up? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Didn't have the resources for that. In which case, I think we'll reduce the time on the spire. And then let's uh, grab a probe, head back down the teleporter, and let's just jump off in this direction. Appears to be nothing up here. Okay, we found the wall. This is just the wall. Anything down this way? Oh, nice. Bonanza. Now, I need the water. I don't need the squid. So, do I want to leave him just? I would feel bad not waking the squid up and getting him to help, so we're gonna we're gonna wake him up. There he goes. It was worth it was worth spending that one water, I think. Do, do, do. 
up here. I've completely lost track of where I oh I'm on the yeah, I'm on the right side. <laughs> Sometimes with Stonekeeper you, you kinda lose where you are in the map, you know? Up we go, the next wave's coming in. All right, let's get some upgrades on the board. So I've got one water. What can I spend that on? Hmm. Let's just use it to speed up the stun laser. Not sure I need the probe because I think I've mined out basically everything, but let's set it off here. I can hear the sounds of the fighting, but not the monsters. You can kind of hear the weapons going off and that kind of thing. Oh, here we go. Another water. Let's take a look down this way. I think we've reached the bottom. Yeah. Okay. It looks like this is going to be it. Yep. Let's grab those two pieces of iron. Bring them up. See if we can pick up another upgrade. Ah, you can you can help Mr. Squid. Alright. So what can we get for one water? Not sure if there is anything to be honest. No, that's it. Okay. Well, I might as well send, spend the iron on something, so let's spend it on health. And more health. That means that if I do need to repair, those repairs will be worth so much more. And now we'll go get that relic. There it is, waiting for us. Let's just check this left side here. Pretty sure we're at the edge. Oh, haha, there was more. There was more iron that I don't really need. Let's bring it. Let's bring it up anyway. spend it on <laughs> what should we spend it on uh, looks like it's going to be carry strength for no reason because there are no resources left okay now we'll go and get the relic there it is it's that lovely music just in time for the wave. Right, now we just stand there with Mr. Squiddy and wait and see what the cat does to defend us. Hopefully we've upgraded enough to beat the wave. If not, we've still completed it just fine. The relic's gonna take care of us. There's a lot of stuff smacking the dome there. <laughs> Absolutely trashed. Right, we've spent a cobalt. Now we are burning through cobalt like crazy. Okay, looks like we've got this one stunned. Let's get the kill on him. Now, can we kill this weird antler monster stag thing? I'm not sure it can do any damage because of the spire. Everything it looks like it's going to send over is being zapped by the spire. So 
So it looks like we've beaten the wave, and I'm just not even sitting in the seat. Cool. Well, would you look at that? Your dome is saved. I think we'll show the mine. Reveal resources, see if I missed anything. Yeah, there we go. It should zoom out in a second. There we go. Oh, I missed a cobalt. Oh, and a big deposit of iron and some water. So I could have upgraded just a little bit more if I'd have explored that side. But if you look next to that iron, there's a little bit of outer wall. So I thought that that was the edge. Otherwise, we got everything. You can see the teleporter floating around there just on its own. Um, I absolutely love Dome Keeper and uh, I love playing these videos. So if you enjoyed this video please consider leaving me a like and um, it really helps the channel to grow and it makes me happy um, those are two good reasons to do so um, if you want to talk about this game or any of the other games i'm playing um, please consider leaving a comment and uh, i also have a discord server set up that um, a couple of us were chatting in and we came up with the name puck hq <laughs> <laughs> which I still haven't quite got my head around but it's pretty fun there's some nice people over there that you can come and talk games to um, otherwise I will see you next time have a lovely morning or afternoon or evening depending on where you are in the world and goodbye for now <laughs>